Well, I tell you there, young man. I tell you there, Wayne. It's controversial. There are people. There are many people. There are people in this world who believe that the Batman is the second coming. And therefore, all of the grace that has bestowed the land will become one of, like, the greatest accomplishments that has ever been done, and heaven will be shown that, and the glory will be theirs. And then there's uh, half of the people think that it's damn trash. (laughs) I love it. I love it. And here's the thing. Half the people... It could be an age thing. The younger people are really, you know, dealing or are really loving it. Um, some people are like, well, I loved Al. I loved what Al because I, you know, hey, I was I was buying the trolling of Josh because I was like, this guy doesn't want to work out and whatever. And look, I'm I'm a fat ass. I, you know, you saw the book of Boba. You saw it, right? You saw the platform where they had the two huts on there. You know those big slug people? Okay. You put those together and you add another one and that's me. Okay? So I shouldn't be talking about body types. But that dude is just too skinny to be the Batman. And I don't know. Some of the costume, the stitching real quick, looked like a, a Halloween costume. Uh, I don't know. Maybe, m- maybe I'm being, you know, I didn't think it was trash. I am glass half full. I saw some merit in it. I liked it and I didn't love it. I watch The Blacklist. You know, it's a realistic show. And they were taking down um, serial killers. But in a superhero movie, I don't want the villain, somebody like the Riddler, to be this grim, this grim, weird-looking uh Serial killer. And then, when he unmasked, everybody likes, oh, that that actor was so great, so great. He looked like a regular guy. He looked like a nerd venger uh, coming on a community stream, talking to Josh. There's about nine of us, and that's the guy in the corner there. You know, he's got the glasses on, and, you know. uh, Or, or, you could say this, I don't know if you, if you, See, I'm old. I don't know if you ever saw Brady Bunch, but, you know, toy, you know, with Marsha and Greg and all those people, you know, here's a story of a lovely lady. Uh, well, like any show, they're on so long that some of the actors decide they don't want to be on there or, or the producer goes, hey, let's liven this up. So... At the end, like the last season, they put a cousin on there. And he looked like John Denver or what this Riddler looks like. His name was Cousin Oliver. And he was this ugly kid with thick glasses. And that's what the Riddler is. Is the daggum thick. Hey, it's four minutes and 24 seconds. But I'm going to tell you, when you listen to this, you'll go, hey, you know what? This wasn't as boring as most of his stuff. This is kind of like Radio Gold. You know, you ought to make a podcast of this. You ought to put it on the YouTube. Because these people get a life. You either like the Batman or you don't. Don't take it so frickin' personal. 
Like you're like you're in a camp. Like you're in a well, since you didn't like it, you're just one of those Marvel guys. You know, you're a Marvel guy because, you know, that Batman was emo, you know, and you didn't like the emo Batman, so therefore you must be one of those Marvel guys. Yeah, whatever. Look, now it's five minutes and a 20 seconds of gold. Anyway, yeah, put this on a video, man. All right, look, love each other, hug each other out. If you liked the movie, that was great. If you didn't, you didn't. But you know what? I'm, I've never seen so many people divided since Star Wars.